Hi everyone, this is Juliana Lovato and Monica Viani. We are presenting the last assumption of Malcolm Knowles theory, motivation. The sixth principle of andragogy relates to motivation. The assumption about adult learners in this principle is that while adults are responsive to some external motivators, such as better jobs, promotions, higher salaries, and benefits, the most potent made of motivators are internal pressures, such as the desire for increased job satisfaction, recognition, self-esteem, education, quality of life, and career growth. The first slide is ours. As adults, we become more motivated by internal factors rather than those external in nature, such as rewards and punishment. To increase intrinsic motivation, is to challenge the learner by offering goals that have a personal meaning. Another way is to elicit a person's curiosity, either sensory or cognitive. Also believed to increase internal motivation is when a, the learner understands themselves to be in control of the learning environment and the subject matter. A fourth factor identified is when a person gains satisfaction from helping others. Lastly, recognition of their efforts may lead to an increase in intrinsic motivation in adult learners. The second slide was created by Christina Birchler. She emphasizes that adult learners require motivation to learn, and she also addresses six important factors that serve as sources of motivation. Those factors are social relationships, external expectations, social welfare, personal advancement, escape stimulation, and cognitive interests. Adults may face many restrictions on their learning processes. Even with the absence of all other attributes, motivation is still present. The important step in determining what the motivators are within a particular group. Promotions and salary increases are high on the list, but so are job satisfaction and self-esteem. The third slide is constructed by Jared, Kelly, and Lauren and defines that adult motivation to learn is internal. They compare the motivation attribute with the yoga class, when one must focus on their inner self, their breathing, and their own strength and confidence. Motivation of the adult learner is just the same. For them, although external forces play some part, motivation must come from oneself in order to be efficient. The fourth slide was created by Juan. The map portrays a man who literally has his back to the wall and is thinking about reasons to learn or train to become better at his job. In doing so, the man comes up with internal motivational factors such as boosted self-esteem by knowing what he is doing and having a better understanding of his work. He thinks about his increased job satisfaction as he will learn to love his job more, among other things. The fifth slide was constructed on PictoChart by Jackie and Karen. Motivation talks about how important it is for the adult learner to be motivated. Many adult learners are forced to continue their education in regards to whether they need to enhance their skills, keep their jobs, get a job, or continue their career goals. According to this slide, we need to motivate adults to learn by offering reason for every learning activity. They also provide a link to 17 tips on how to motivate the e-learner. The final slide was created by Carrie and Anne. In many, if not most cases, adult learning is voluntary. Thus, they tend to be internally motivated as learners. Fittishan lists increased job satisfaction, self-esteem, and quality of life as possible internal motivators for adult learning. The most compelling motivation to learn for adults comes from within and not from outside. This is not to say that external rewards don't motivate adults or that they are not responsive to some external motivators. But, according to Howd, the most potent motivators are internal pressures, the desire for increased job satisfaction, self-esteem, quality of life, and the like. Moreover, self-determination theory states that humans have a basic need to grow, and the basic components of this need, the need for autonomy, relatedness, and competence, are intrinsic. So, to help adult learners stay motivated, it is useful to help them see beyond any ostensible reasons they are learning, to get a promotion, etc to the intrinsic needs such as the need to be competent, to connect with others, and to have positive self-esteem. To conclude, 
The motivation to learn assumption is readily supported by self-determination theory. Self-determination theory states that individuals have a basic drive towards growth as humans and that the needs for autonomy, relatedness, and competence are at the core of this drive. Adults learn best when convinced of the need for knowing the information. Often, a life experience or situation stimulates the motivation to learn. Meaningful learning can be intrinsically motivating. The key to using adults' natural motivation to learn is tapping into their most teachable moments. And that concludes our presentation on Noel's sixth attribute, motivation to learn.